Virginia. Heffernan was second in the MAC. He's just a junior of the state champ this year, Lakewood St. Ed Eagles, in both the individual and the high school dual team state championship. Andrew Atkinson is out of Lynchburg, Virginia from Liberty Christian High School. He was third in the ACC's. Head official is Jim Ravella. Your assistant is Matt Sorchinski. Central Michigan is coached by Coach Borelli, Virginia. Coached by Steve Garland, of course. And underhook by Atkinson, trying to come through. Atkinson is your red wrestler. Heffernan is green. Heffernan whizzers down, comes over the top. Atkinson's in on that single on the right-hand side. Heffernan whizzers hard. And Sarchinski's in my way again. Heffernan fighting now. There's a two-point drive-through takedown for Andrew Atkinson from Virginia. Heffernan's funky though on the bottom. Oh, he may get a tilt though. Atkinson's got it tight. Heffernan comes up though on his butt. Looks like he may go out of bounds. And it does. And also, take a look on Matt Four. We have a possible upset down there on Matt Four. Heffernan will be down, though. He's down 2 nothing. He comes in ranked number 11 in the country. Atkinson sets up, drives him down to his hip, takes him to his back again. Heffernan. Atkinson drives moves back. He's got a half and gonna roll across half of that funky roll. Escape so gets the escape, make it two to one now. But Atkinson did get 30 seconds of riding time. Atkinson comes in ranked 25th in the country. Half drives through, he's got the double, he can't quite, he's got to trap that leg. If he can trap the leg, he'll score. But he's got Atkinson exposing his back though. Can he put him on his head? If he can put him on his head, make it a, a neutral fall. He's got him on his head now. Now he's got to drive into him, push back into him. Push back into him. Atkinson's got legs over the top. Uh, well, half could get it. Atkinson's tight around the waist. Got a roll to his hip. We got 15 seconds. Atkinson's up two to one. These two guys have met. And Heffernan did beat him eight to six when they wrestled earlier this year. They wrestled on November the 13th. Half beat him eight to six. We're inside five seconds to go, first period. Atkinson up two to one. That'll end the first period. And Heff wins the coin toss. Coach Borelli tells him to defer. Virginia Atkinson's gonna go down. Coach Garland says choose down. This will eat into his riding time though. Atkinson does have 30 seconds of riding time. Stops that first move, he turns inside, gets a wrist and clears it. Make it three to one now, Andrew Atkinson up over Colin Heffernan of Central Michigan. He drives and pushes him. See, no, he turns and gets back in the center of the mat. I'll tell you what, these kids with this new rule know they cannot go out of bounds. They know to turn and get back to the middle. If he would have continued out of bounds, he would have been hit for stalling for not trying to get back in. Hits that low single on the right, see if he can score with it. Atkinson whizzers down hard. Half is reaching for that ankle, can't quite get it. Still in bounds though. Has a chance, now his toes, his toes still on the edge. He's in a minute, still in bounds, still in bounds. There they stepped out, they broke the plane. We do got action though, both guys trying to fight that single back in. 105 to go, second period. Andrew Atkinson up over number 10 seeded Colin Heffernan of Central Michigan.
55 seconds ago. Both guys in a single leg stance, trying to drive forward. Atkinson comes through in an underhook on the left. Colin hits a single on the right, underneath. Looks like he may, he has a chance. No, but, oh. Got action though, because he turned the fight in inside. Wait, Colin hit it up there, had a great chance to get a two point takedown though. Could not quite finish it. 37 seconds left, three to one. Atkinson also has 26 seconds of riding time. 30 seconds. Nice head to head. Colin hits that single. Virginia also gets hit for warning for stalling for backing up. Now let's see if Heffernan can finish it here. Pulls him in. Get to the edge again. That, that might be two point takedown. Yes. Nope, not going to give a takedown though. Right in front of us. I don't think he could have defended himself because the table was in his way. That's the second time Heffernan has been in that shot and hasn't finished it though. Both times way on the edge. He's got to drag him back to the middle. Coach Irvis has got to teach him pull him to the middle and score. Don't do it on the edge. Don't let that referee get into that decision. Heff's going to choose down. He's down three to one to Andrew Atkinson. Atkinson's going to mount on the left. He does. Gets to his feet. Turns inside. Catches the wrist though. Atkinson and fight hands. It's Granby. No. Heff back down to flat now. He's got 40 seconds of riding time. Got a little tilt. Oh, he's close. He's close again. And Heff got to step through. There's a two point reversal. Follows him out of bounds, make it three to three. Atkinson does have 52 seconds of riding time though. One thirty-two to go, three to three. Central Michigan taking on Virginia. Drives him forward, eating into that riding time. But he probably, yeah, let him go, make it four to three. Hefner's got to get another takedown. 1.20 to go. He's been in three times. He scored once. See how much he's got left in the gas tank. Both guys head to head. Atkinson looking to step in and throw with his left. Looking for that throw. Now he fights it off. Now he hits a single again. Virginia's been hit for warning for stalling as well. So. Gotta push the pace, 50 seconds. Hef hits that single, low single again. Can he drive across and catch that ankle? There, no, he still didn't, he did not get the ankle. But he's hopping out of bounds, that's a stall call. Yep, he ran out of bounds, one point. One, make it four to four. Hopped out of bounds, good call by the referee. Now, Heffernan's gotta win, take a shot. Virginia's been hit twice for stalling. He blocks, hits a low single, comes up, down block again. He's in there with that wizard. Atkinson looking to step across. Hef going to try and do that funky roll. Now he's got him hooked around his waist, but look, he's got to look at his back. But now he steps over. Hef's in a good situation if he can come up. Atkinson got a head underneath though. We're at five seconds, roll across your back, step over. We're gonna end it this way and go into overtime. Yep, four to four, we're tied in overtime. Our first overtime match here on match seven. Riding time will go away, as you guys know. Most of you wrestling aficionados. Sudden victory here. If no one scores, then we will go to the 30-30. If we get a takedown or some type of a point here, the winner, the match will end. I'm in that single again. Virginia's been hit twice for stalling. Both guys in the underhook. Oh, he tries to pull through, fakes a shot again. Now he comes through with a double. Going to try and, oh, body lock here. Comes through the bite, fights a single back. 20 seconds to go. We got action. He calls him out of bounds. 
headgear comes off, gonna adjust that. Both guys look a little tired. 27 seconds left in the first sudden victory overtime. Four to four. Three Jim Ravelli out of Pennsylvania. Our assistant is Matt Sarchinski out of Ohio. Half into that single again. See if he can finish though. Wizarding down hard as Atkinson gets to the ankle. Can he turn? Elevate it? He's through, but he's got to hook it. He's got to hook and step. Can't do it. Oh, there he comes underneath it. Atkinson ran out of gas, could not fight it. And your number 10 seed, Colin Heffernan, will survive to wrestle again tonight. You're watching NCAA Wrestling Championship.